Okay. So a couple weeks ago, I was making more resin ashtrays and rolling trays. And I was doing white and black smoky. And then I started doing a rainbow one. And I wanted to do more rainbow. And the rainbow one I did on my last video um, destroyed many molds and reminded me of the apple color wheel and just says I'm not crazy about it. And yeah, I'm just, they're, they're okay, but I feel like I could do a lot better. And then yeah, the tray I really messed up on. It's just real ugly to me. So I wanted to have my rainbow redemption. So I started out doing my normal mixing of resin, which is a one-to-one -one ratio. And then I got out five little cups and I poured equal amounts of my resin in each cup. Then I added alcohol inks to each cup. I did pink in one cup, red in another, orange, then yellow, then green. So I'm doing it diagonal across the tray and the ashtrays and trying to have it be slightly ombre and blend into each other. But I start with the outside colors. So I put down all my pink corners first and my green corners. And then what I should have done was put down my middle color, which is the orange, but I learned that I should I should do that later. So I put down my yellow next, then my red, and then my orange. And I am just doing it around the sides because I want it to be clear for when I place my leaves down. And then I'll come back the next day and cover the back with the rest of the colors. So once I am done filling up the sides of the molds, I go around it with a heat gun and a torch a little bit to try to pop the bubbles. And then I just take a cotton pad and try wiping down the bits of color that got into the center. So after I clean up everything in the center, I mix more clear resin and then I add some gold flakes to that and I pour that in the center of the molds where I'm going to put my leaves down and go over it with a torch. Then I place my leaves face down in the resin and press them in with my fingers. Now, side note, I wanted to try to put a joint in one of the molds, especially in the rolling tray, but the rolling tray is too thin to have a joint. Maybe unless I squash it. I don't know. I'll try to make it work. Anyway, so after I place my marijuana leaves down in the resin, then I pour my remaining resin over the leaves and then go over it again with a torch or a heat gun. So after I pop all the bubbles, I can see, then I just put a lid over it so that no dust or dog hairs get in it. So I come back the next day and I do uh, the same first step as yesterday, which is the mixing my resin and then pouring them equally into five different cups and then pouring my pink, red, orange, yellow, and green into those cups and mixing it together. Now, hindsight's 2020. My yellow and green, I should have added more alcohol into. They definitely had a lighter pigment than the rest of the colors, which is upsetting. You can't tell as much on the ashtray molds, but you can tell more on the rolling tray molds. But anyway, you'll see that in the final product. So I just pour my colors down diagonally again, trying to somewhat evenly pour them out. And then again, I used a torch and a heat gun to try to get rid of bubbles. And these, I really like them. <laughs> again, I wish the yellow and the green had more pigment. Sorry, I'm pulling out dog hair. But, oh shit. I just noticed there's little holes in these. I think I have to make it do another top layer in this. But I think it's really cute. Yeah, the red and the pink kind of blended too much together. So I think maybe just a red or a pink, not both. And then, yeah, I don't think I mixed all the ink 
properly right here. It's a little fucked up, but I think it's it's really cute though. And I think the gold flake looks a lot better with the rainbow than my silver flake did with my former ones. I think this one's probably the cutest, the square one to me. It's like a little Rastafari-ish colors, except for I added pink because I didn't want it completely cultural appropriate, just slightly, you know? What? There's dog hair everywhere. It's like curtains. Okay, so this is the tray. Again, you can see it's really light where the yellow and green is and the pink, red, and orange stand out a lot more. Oh, fuck, there's holes in this too. I guess they gotta do a top layer. Oh, and this one ruined my tray mold somehow. Parts of the silicone got stuck here. It might be, I'm just not gonna use the torch anymore, which I didn't after this, just in case that's the reason why. But yeah, pretty cute. The, the yellow and the green bother me though. So then I wanted to kind of do sunset color by. So I did the same thing basically as last time, except for using different colors when I divided them into five, my resin into five cups. So this time I'm doing blue, purple, pink, orange, and yellow. So I slowly pour a little bit of each color down until it's all filled. And I definitely overfilled it a little bit, my bad. And then same thing as last time, I took a cotton pad and tried to clean up the center. Again, I just shouldn't have overfilled it that much. I then added gold flake to clear resin and poured that in the center to lay my marijuana leaf down. And again, hindsight's 2020. I should have cleaned up the center a little bit more, but whatever. So I start placing my marijuana leaves face down in the resin and pressing them in. Then I pour the rest of my gold flake resin over my marijuana leaves and then go over it with a torch. So this is normally when I would call it a day, but I had already filled my rolling tray mold so much that I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'll be able to get a second layer tomorrow. And I still had extra resin left over. So I tried adding some alcohol ink and rubbing it in with my fingers. Yeah, I don't really know what I was doing. And then I went over it again with a heat gun to try to blend the colors together a little more. And then I put the lid over it and waited till the next day to come back and finish my ashtray molds. So I came back the next day and I did the same process. I mixed my resin, poured it into five separate cups, added my different colors in each cup, mixed them together, and then put them down diagonally. And then I realized that I, in my rolling tray, I had part of the leaf still sticking up and I realized I think I can actually fit a final back layer on it. So I mixed more colors and then did the same thing to my rolling tray. And again, went over it with a heat gun to spread everything out. So these, I love the color that they turned out. Now, this one's really good. This one, you can't see any of the color over the leaf. There are bubbles on the top here. They're not offensive to me or anything though. I don't know if they're offensive to anybody else, but I don't have those on this one like I do on this one. But I really like the colors on this. See this one, the colors got a little blurry on the inside. So you can see some pink or orange that got underneath the leaf that's distorting the color a little bit. Again, it's not too bad, but I would prefer it not be there. And I almost don't know if the gold flakes are even necessary. Yeah, I don't know if they're necessary or not. This is the rolling tray. It turned out pretty good. I was worried about my uh, finger painting strategy with it. I used my fucked up mold with it, so it does have a little scratch right here. I've got a new one that I'll move. I will treat better. And some of the color also got underneath this leaf too, which distorts it, which again, don't love. It actually color got underneath all of the leaves. But 
I still like it. And I think it actually made it look, give it the color a little more texture with my finger paint idea. So it's all good. Yeah, there's a lot of bubbles or like little, you can hear ASMR. Yeah, it's like not smooth is the point. There were a bunch of bubbles on the corner, which I don't know why or how that happened, but don't care. I still like it. And when I've showed it to other people, they haven't noticed the problem. So yeah. So I've already been working on more rainbow things. I need to do a whole nother weird. Why are there so many bubbles? Anyway. I'm already working on a glitter rainbow piece and I got a new tray mold. And then I'm also going to be trying how to do maybe like a tie dye effect. It's not obviously going to look perfectly tie dye, but I've tried looking it up and it doesn't seem like anyone successfully really done anything that looks like tie dye. There's only one piece I found on Pinterest, but it looks like they used a print. It doesn't look like they like naturally made it with inks or anything. So I'm gonna do some experimenting and see if I can make anything look a little tie dye -y. I was just listening to Armchair Expert and Seth Rogen was on and he was talking about his weed company and how they're not into uh, just weed stuff that's all hippy dippy. And then like, I'm listening to that as I'm doing like glitter rainbow tray and I'm like are they reading me through the podcast the bitch just like colors I just like colors I mean I'm also for free the net too what does hippie mean but yeah so this week was actually pretty okay I didn't fuck up too bad I hated that I just did that um what did I Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.